TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 20th of October, 2020. Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode features two traffic stops and an automobile accident. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Back at it again. This is episode four or five. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> just another day. So, run up here, get some fuel real quick. We don't have any calls pending yet, so we'll go run some traffic. Let's go. It's six o'clock. So, nice. last I heard, the uh, the last one that we did already has over sixteen thousand views. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's wild what you all get out of your uh, guide, that video, and everything else. So. Small town, uh, everybody watches it, I guess. Ten four, hold it. Yeah. 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 There was history for an assault on the Julian Curtis back in February for the address. So no history for the phone number. Okay. Just to raise me in a public service. Details, okay. We're going to be sitting on team with that vehicle. We have our drive in front of the old Kmart. Copy on 54. because they're, they've been yeah. repaving and everything, but yeah. Uh, I hear you, I hear you. You got your registration proof of insurance as well. Been working on that. I hear you. I got a mortgage down. For what? For work or what? Yep.
Sitting there in traffic, waiting for the light to change to not love 45. The lines aren't on the road right now because they're repaving. But we had a guy that was driving on the left of center, basically the wrong side of the road. He was going into traffic, trying to get up to his turn lane. So we stopped him just for the sole fact that the lines aren't on the road. I didn't give him an actual hard back ticket. I let him off with a warning, but advise him don't do it again. And the fact that he could have been hit head on not have been a good thing. So. Uh, There's nothing other than just a traffic violation for him. So. Okay. I usually don't pull cars over on the bypass right here unless I think they're pretty good speed above the speed limit. I give people a little bit of room like most people do, but if you're gonna go out here and actually write a ticket for speeding, don't get the person that's just, you know, three or four miles an hour above and then have somebody buzz you at 20 plus above, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how I, that's how I do it. Perfect. In the sense of, you know, if I actually want to write a ticket, perfect. but. Or a lot of rain off the ground road. Everything's up north tonight, but. I don't write tickets, usually just to write tickets. I'm not that kind of person. But us just sitting out here. Monitoring speed and everything else, people slow down and drive more careful, and hopefully it'll save us another accident closer into the interchange and 81. Mother is his landlord, and she evicted him. 
143 that's cool. the permanent and you say color. Yeah. They're called a LIDAR unit. Basically it sends a some sort of wave through the air and then if it hits off something reflective, it'll bounce back. And it's all mathematical and it tells you how fast they're, they're going. It's pretty wild. We had a whole class on it. Through the uh, academy and, you know, showing us how it worked and everything else. But On bypass westbound, just for Great Bond Road, black and color, Nissan Altima, West Virginia. If you're clear, I have a Western Union 27 turn lots in the car. cut and dry. She was going 19 miles an hour over the speed limit. So. Which is not hard to do coming off the bypass, but they bottleneck it down and bottleneck it down and bottleneck it down. Most of the time, people don't start slowing down until they get up here to Grapevine with people turning and everything. It's we work a lot of car accidents from this light right here all the way through 9-11-45 and 2 81. So.
going to give you a ticket, okay? Instead of doing the 18 miles an hour over, I'm doing 65 and 55, okay? No reckless driving, just speed, okay? 15 days of contact the courthouse. Be sure to go to the court hearing and everything else. Not just something to put by the wayside. She's putting a lot of people in danger, possibly speeding like that. So, yeah. Is what it is. She just now threatened running away. She left the house not too long ago before I got home from work. Is, is she a part of all this? No. Okay. No, no, no. I don't know who she is. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to figure out all the moves. No. Um, we've actually got a lot going on. I had to call a complaint against with CPS against her okay. the other day because she um, forced her nine-year-old twin into a sexual situation. Okay. So now we've had to separate them. I'm waiting on CPS to come. God, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. um, she has been very combative recently, okay. um, making comments like to her mother that she wished she was dead. She wished that she would uh, never was never born. Right. Um, today, she before I called you, she threatened to run away. Okay. And this wouldn't be the first time. She is very manipulative. Right. Every word that comes out of her mouth has ever been a lie to us. And like at first, you believe you do. Right. You really do. And then we've learned not to. Okay. Like I've got cameras up in my house because I got to watch what they do. Uh -huh. And you'll see them. They'll say, "Oh, that's not me." Wow. You can come on. I got you. So I guess, what are you? What do you want out of us? Today? We want her. We're, we're tired of having to call you guys. Right. We want her arrested. We want her taken in. Okay. When, when it comes to being a nine-year-old, state of West Virginia, one doesn't allow me to arrest a nine-year-old. Okay. Two, with what's going on, they're not. They're not charges even if she was twelve or even thirteen running away. Or, or whatever. Yeah. She can threaten to run away, basically. Okay. She can't hear me, right? I want to talk no, to you. Okay. She's she can threaten to run away as much as she wants. With you documenting that she's basically a willing participant and running away, you're never going to be found at fault for like neglect right. in that sort of sense. Mostly, the most I can do for you is you can call, who's, do you know who the crisis worker is that you're dealing with when it comes to CPS? I, I, I haven't even been in contact with them yet. I called Central Intake. I've been trying to call um, you have, you have her their Teresa. number? What's that? Do you have their agent? Yeah, number? and they call me. They tell me just to call the local office, and I speak to the supervisor. Her name is like Teresa, something like that. Right. I've left messages. That's okay. all I've been able to do. I understand. Um, I, I've been told by my therapist, you know, just if I have to keep calling you guys just to get it documented. Right. Because we do have incorrigibility charges filed against her. Okay, gotcha. So when it comes to something like this, you're doing all the right steps in the sense of what we can do. I can only operate so far. You okay. know, the state of West Virginia gives me the right. code book. Of that, what, that's one of the problems in West Virginia. There's no resources for stuff like this. When it comes to something like this with her saying, you know, I wish, you, I, wish I was never born. I want to like kill myself, that kind yeah. of stuff. The best I could do for you would be either one, call an ambulance out here, well, or that, two, you take her into birth. That doesn't that doesn't help because we get there and she says she's fine to them. And right, and then it's, you know. We did that last time. They said, well, she's not a candidate for psychiatric help. Yeah. but. No, she's telling that to her mother. She's right. saying, I wish, she's saying that her mother was dead. Right. So, I mean, when it comes to something like this, I mean, you have a phone right there in your hand. Mm -hmm. If you recorded her saying something like that, mm -hmm. you get a little bit more help at Berkeley Medical. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to me, I I couldn't take her anywhere. I have no place right. to take her. I couldn't take her to, okay. to Juvie. To I couldn't take her to, you know, there's there's nothing I have where I can you know, pick right. children up and just take them somewhere okay. for you. Okay. So when it comes to something like this, I feel for you. Yeah, you know, I really, I really it, do. It's, it's strenuous. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's strenuous. It's strenuous. It can't get a hold of nobody with CPS because of coronavirus. Right. So you know, they said they're only diverting calls to one person. Yeah. So it's it's hell, and this has just been 
ongoing for about the last weeks. It's gotten so bad, right. and, then, and then that sexual thing happened. Right. And that like our hands are all tied. <laughs> no, I, I completely understand. Sir. Do you have your ID? Do you have a handy? You grab it's it? inside. You, it's if inside. you want to grab it for me, that's that'd be great. One fifty four, but I'm secure. One seventeen, you can take care of that other call. Awesome. I appreciate their high time. 54 Berkeley, declare our West Virginia Fox Shot 227323. Alright, sir. There's that back for you. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm i trying to offer you as many of the options as, as, as there is. You know, in this state, unfortunately, when it comes to juveniles, especially, yeah. but juveniles with mental illness and that kind of stuff, I mean, there's Unfortunately, there's not much. So. <laughs> well, I do. I mean, I have a youth services worker from DHR coming tomorrow. Okay. Well, good. So I'm hoping that gets us somewhere. Right. And they can always contact our dispatch in the sense of getting any sort of... Okay. Whenever we come out anytime, a CAD has started a computer automated dispatch. Mm -hmm. And basically, it advises everything that you told the dispatchers on it. Right. And then whenever I leave out of here, I'll basically put like a little, you know, follow-up paragraph saying, you okay. know... This is what he advised. You know, he should not be found at fault of anything. You right. know, you know, you're doing you're doing everything that you can for. Right. Yeah, I know so. the person that I'm speaking to tomorrow. I can't remember her last name, but her first name was Danielle. Okay. So just whenever she gets here, just tell her what's going on and everything. You know, with you having the twin sister, that's obviously not causing problems no, and everything. She is. she is. She is. Oh yeah, she is. Okay. So. She gets physical with everybody in the house. Okay. Well, I mean, again, just sounds like a hell of a situation you're in, man. So. Yeah. God, it's, it's stressful. Yeah, I mean, I, I, wish I had to leave work early today because of the situation. Yeah. So I wish you the best of luck. I mean, when it comes to something like this, CPS and, and their crisis workers are always the first stop when it comes right. to juveniles. So hopefully they can, you know, either get them off your hands or get them the help they need or, or whatever needs to be done. So other than that, we're going to get out of here for this evening. It's already documented. It, okay. she, can, she can say it a hundred more times. She wants to run away tonight. You don't really need to say. You don't need to call us back and say, oh, right. she keeps advising. If she does pack a bag and go, I mean... It's cold out. She's not going to stay out right. for long. Give us a call. Yeah, you know, if it's more than you know, well, fifteen minutes. She doesn't have survival instincts. She wouldn't be gone long. Yeah. So <laughs> give her fifteen, twenty minutes until she gets cold. If she hasn't back then. Give us a call. We'll come out. We'll do all the proper paperwork and we'll look for. Her. I mean, okay. but anytime it's this time of weather, all the you know right. all the all the kids that want to run away through the summer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as soon as this time of weather you. comes back, like, oh, you know what? It's I, like I don't have it so bad at home. I can't let her go out and play right now because she made the comment the other day when we found out about the sexual thing. She said she wants to have, have sex with boys. She's yeah. nine. I can't let that happen. For sure. <laughs> I completely understand. So we're going to get out of here. We have some other calls okay. we have to go take care of. If you need uh, I'm sorry for wasting your time. You, no, you're fine. If you need anything else, just give us a call. All right. All right. Thank you. Sounds good, sir. Careful. Medics at least out here check you out. You don't have to go with them, at least let them check you out, alright? Yeah. I hear you, dude. I'm sure you are hurting pretty bad. You got, can I get your ID, registration, and your proof of interest? It's all legal and everything. That's good. I appreciate it. Let's start you a tow truck. How about that? Okay. You got a preference on tow? Quickest first plug on these big K's. Okay. Big K's good. 
Yeah, we're going to go from there. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's fair. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't So, uh, I mean, just your registration proof insurance. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is that yours? Can I see it real quick? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Not to do that for me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Berkeley and Clear County, not available for residential or for alarm. You can take your cab, sir. I'll come and talk to you. All right, thanks. Off the show of the street. Can you start with this? I'm taking a wild guess you were heading that way. Yeah, I got you. You just going too fast, slipped off the road, is that what happened or what? No, um, I actually went through the speed and um, the tires. Tires? Yeah, good man. All right, man, I hear you. If you need to sit down, you can pop your trunk and sit down. Yeah, they can no problem. Sit, um, and then, I got you. Yeah. Sounds good. Medics are on the way. And then uh, I said I just started a tow truck for you. Real simple process. I'm still waiting on for all your information. Anyway, when it comes to something like this, sheriff office is who's handling it. Yeah. Real simple, being a single vehicle. Yeah. So. So, now we're on first line. Yeah. Uh, I was literally just talking about uh, need to get new front tires. <laughs>
hospital? I mean, with the looks of the car, I, I think you should have hit your head on the windshield. It's completely up to you. Yeah, you made it pretty hard, man. It's up to you. I mean, I'm, I want to sit out here until tow truck comes and get your vehicle and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Right. No sweat off. No sweat off anybody's back if you go. All right, well, you, you'll hurt later, definitely. I guarantee you that. So, you know what today is? Tuesday, what's the date? How many quarters in the dollar? Four. All right, what's your birthday? 1888. Okay. All right, well, like I said, you don't have to go with me if you don't want to. Um, I would suggest either going with me or maybe later if you feel bad. Your neck's probably going to hurt. Your head, you're probably going to have a headache.
primary on this FBA at the high school. Close it out on 14. Hopefully that'll pass.